Good morning, friends and students. This is your absent-minded professor, Professor Joe O'Brien. I am happy to finally be recording the third part in the series Java for Beginners. This particular episode is dealing with console input and output. So without further ado, let's jump right into this and create a new project. So let's just say uh, console input and output. It can be whatever you want to name it. Remember, don't forget that it that just basically names your folder that your project appears in. So once you create a project, we're going to go ahead and create a new class, and this is going to be your main class. This cannot have spaces in it, and it should start with a capital. So let's just say um, uh, my program. How about that? Public and generate comments. And there we have it. Notice that class my program is going to be whatever you named this class. Uh, don't forget if you're one of my students, you need to put not only your name, but the assignment. So in this case, we're going to say um, tutorial three, uh, console input and output. And so this is just to remind you that yes, you should always comment your programs. Now, once you have done this, the next thing to do is to go ahead and start our program. So let's just begin. Let's say that we want to display something to the console. That is very simple. Display hello world. So this is our very first um, display. So there is a command called system.out.println. And that's it. Everything's pretty much done for us right there. And if we go ahead and run this, you're going to find that, indeed, down here in the console, it prints hello world. Console output is easy. System.out.println prints on whatever you have inside your parentheses and then prints a carriage return to start a new line. Thus, the print ln. Now, if you want to print something on the same line without a carriage return, it's just system.out.print greetings. I'm going to teach you how to concatenate something. And first, let's go ahead and create a variable. We'll do that up here above. So define, or how about declare variables? This will be a string name equals Joel Bryant, okay? Don't forget to terminate all of your statements with a semicolon. Now, we can go ahead and say system.out.println, and in this case, we'll just say name. That is our variable that we're going to print out. Let's test this and see what happens. Greetings, Joel Bryant and no space. This happens so often. Remember that however you format your output is going to be the way that it appears. You could put a space right here. So let's go ahead and do that. Now, what if we want to add some punctuation or more information at, at the end of our print line. We use the term concatenate and to concatenate, we use the plus symbol. So just like this. Now when we run our program, it prints out properly with the correct punctuation. This is all great. This is fantastic for printing to the console. But what if we want to get input from the user? That's quite easy as well. We use some code 
from the Java Util library called Scanner. Scanner is an object that scans in. We can scan in from files or scan in for input directly from the console, which is what we're going to do here. So in order to create a new scanner object, and we'll talk about objects uh, later on in another episode, but we have to define what type of object we're creating, name it with a variable, and then equals a new instance of the scanner object. And we're going to pass it system.in. Okay, and terminate. Now, one little problem here. By default, our program does not understand what Scanner is. There's so many libraries, so much code in Java that never gets used. Why include that in every single program that we use? So in order to get around that and minimize the footprint or the size of our program, we have to import whatever code that's outside the basic norm. So here we go. I could come up here and type the word import, but perhaps I don't know which library I want to import from yet. That's quite easy. We just mouse over and find. There's import java.util. We know that's the one we want. We'll click it. It types import java util scanner for us automatically. It says we haven't used it yet. That's quite fine. We're about to. So create a new scanner object instance. Okay. Now get input from the user in the console. In order to get input from the user, the, in, the user should know what we want them to input. So let's do something simple. First, let's get input a string. Please input your name. Name equals, because we've already declared it, name equals input dot next line. And that gets a string. Let's say we want to get two integers. We're going to add them together in a moment. System.out.print, enter an integer. And then integer first number equals input dot next int. System.out.print, enter another integer, and then declare second number equal to input.nextInt. And finally, what if we want to get a double? What if it's money that we're getting? System.out.print. Enter a decimal number and double third number equals input dot next double. We need to do something with all this, so let's process the user input integer sum equals first number plus second number. Display results and user input. System.out.print line, and I'm going to leave it by itself. And that just prints a blank line. One more, system.out.print line your name is plus name, all on the same line. System.out.print line, the sum of plus first number plus a space and, and another space, second number and I cannot type, 
is, and then finally, sum. And yes, we want to end it with some punctuation, so we'll do it like that. And then finally, we'll say something like, and by the way, just to make it look better, we'll make sure there's a space there. System.out.println, just you entered the following decimal number plus and we'll call it third number and that's it let's go ahead and run this real quick and make sure that it runs name Joel Bryant integer 45 and 90 and finally a decimal number 2.5 the sum of 90 and 90 now you may think that I made a mistake, and I did, on purpose. I want you to realize how easy it is to make a mistake. So my output says that the sum of 90 and 90 is 90. This is known as a logical error. A syntax error is an error in the code where it causes your program to break and not run. But this is a logical error. A logical error is an error where your program continues to run, but your output is not as expected. So, where is the error? Pause and see if you can find the error. The error is in the processing of the user input. Integer sum equals first number equals second number. It should say plus second number. So what is this is saying? It's just saying the sum is equal to the first number, and the first number is equal to the second number, and the second number I entered was 90. If we change this to a plus and try it again, it should work just fine. Let's try it. All right, so let's try 10 and 30 and 5.2. The sum of 10 and 30 is 40. So the program works now. One last thing to consider, and that is that anytime we create a scanner object and we open it, which is what we've done when we created it, we need to close it. Otherwise, it creates a memory leak, a resource leak. Once we have finished getting any input, the final thing we need to do is close the input scanner object. And that we can do just by saying input.close. And that is it. That concludes this tutorial. I hope you have learned a lot. This tutorial once again covered how to get input from the console and how to display output to the console. Thank you for watching. And if you liked this video, please leave a like below and go ahead and subscribe for future updates. If you'd like me to cover another topic, please let me know in the comments down below, and I'll try to get that as soon as possible. Thank you. Have an awesome day. Bye-bye.